and welcome back to The Morning Blend where we are transforming your health with Columbia St. Mary's, part of Ascension. Get this, most Americans log an amazing 75,000 miles on their feet by the time they reach the age of 50. The problem is most of us will experience foot pain at some point in our lives. So when is it bad enough that you should see a specialist? Dr. Mitch Hulbert is a podiatrist with Columbia St. Mary's and he and I were already chatting about all this during the break. <laughs> Good to see you again. You He's too. got his Thank foot. You. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I think this is such an important topic. Um, I have a foot problem. Yep. Um, I know you obviously see people every day. Tons of you out there have pain in your feet, your ankles, different things like that. What, what kind of common things do you treat as a podiatrist? Sure, using the model here. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes Hold people it up have a higher. There you go. <laughs> bunions, and a bunion is not just a growth of bone over here. It's actually deviation of this bone here mm -hmm. moving outward. It's important to understand the difference. Um, okay. Of course, hammer toes. Yeah, hold sometimes it real kind of still. Sorry, they're getting ankle shot. fractures mm -hmm. can happen. Um, arthritis throughout the midfoot. Certainly, corns, calluses, and just general day-to-day -day foot pain. Okay. Does does a lot of these do a lot of these problems result in surgery? Because I think that's why a lot of people put off mm -hmm. going to a specialist is they're afraid. Well, they're just going to tell me I have to get surgery. Yeah, but almost as little as possible, right? Mm -hmm. I'd say you know when someone comes in to see me, um, there's a very low chance the first thing we're going to do is go to surgery. It's it's almost unheard of. Okay. Um, but every once in a while there are some deformities that you just can't fix with extrinsic devices like inserts, wider shoes, or a number of. Mm -hmm. other things. Yeah, because we, we use our feet for everything. We've got to yeah. take care of them and most of us, especially women, don't, right? We're wearing heels, we're wearing ill-fitting yeah. shoes, we're not wearing proper supports. Yeah. So we've got these issues. Um, what about diabetes and cardio cardiovascular health? Because mm -hmm. those things can contribute to our foot health, right? Oh yeah. Um, a, a big problem with diabetes is that they can't feel their feet sometimes. Yeah, it's called numbness, neuropathy. Right? Yep. Tingling. And they may be walking on something or in an ill-fitting shoe and it will cause a hole in the foot. So it's important mm. for them to come in on a regular basis to be kind of checked out for these kinds of things because they won't feel it. Um, another thing is cardiovascular disease. What's going on in the foot is kind of mimicked in the heart. So huh. we'll see problems in the foot sometimes that can kind of lead you to believe that there's other issues. Really? Like what would be an example? Sorry, that's an intriguing. Um, well, sometimes there will be a lack of blood flow if you can't feel the pulses in the foot. Mm -hmm. There's a major problem going on there. Okay, those are things I feel like you have to see a specialist to, to really address because if you tell your regular doctor, hey, I've got some foot pain, they'll kind of check it out a little bit, yep. but you really need somebody who's specialized. Arthritis is another big problem. Mm -hmm. So many, I have arthritis in my big toe joint, that's what I was talking about. It's, yep. it's causing some other problems for me as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's a problem with a lot of people, arthritis. Oh yeah, it's very common. Um, it's a weight-bearing joint. So all through mm -hmm. the foot's a weight-bearing joint. So they're the ones that have to take the brute force of you all day, walking on it, running on it, athletes, with a tremendous amount of stress on the joints and sometimes you just get a ton of arthritis in the joint. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't. Um, not all arthritis is painful mm -hmm. and sometimes we can find ways to cover up the pain from the arthritis and just let it kind of leave it alone. You mentioned athletes. What kinds of things should athletes of all ages be um, precautious about? Depends on the level of the athlete, right? So um, in some cases you have to just make sure you're wearing the right type of shoe. The right shoe for the right job. Um, those people that are just starting to be athletes, usually people are toning it down this time of year. Mm -hmm. But when you tone it back up, what people do is overdo it, and that's when you get things like stress fractures and fatigue injuries and things like that. Can you cause plantar fasciitis too by certain, I guess, activities? Absolutely. Really? Yep. Okay. Especially in ill-fitting shoes. That's one of the main. That's one of the main problems. Mm -hmm. um, so shoes, you mentioned, that's a big impact. What do we need to know about the shoes that we choose? Because a lot of times we're choosing for the look of them. Right. And my important thing is that I want rigidity. When you choose, choose a shoe, I don't have a shoe with me, but I have a foot. Um, <laughs> I just don't want it to rotate. I want oh. it to be rigid in that plane and not rotate. Because okay. any rotation in the shoe, your bones have to pick that up. Gotcha. Unless so you're used a to running barefoot. Yeah. Is not always the healthiest for your foot. Definitely not. No. Okay, what about heels? Not good. <laughs> I mean, um, Sorry, ladies. There's no other way to put it, but you should be able to wear heels at times, right? Yeah. Every day, maybe not, but if you have an event, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to wear a heel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not comfortably, but get through it and hopefully not cause any other problems. I think about all the ballet flats and the sandals that we as women wear um, mm -hmm. right now, and there's, they're very flat. There's mm -hmm. no, uh, like I, I, my foot hurts if I don't have a little bit of a heel, yep. but these, the flat shoes that are so popular right now, is that bad? There's no arch support, it seems. Yeah, they're really bad, actually. It's, yeah. it's again, all in that rotational plane. Mm -hmm. um, they don't provide any support. Some people can get away with wearing them for a long time without pain, and that's fine. 
But when you start to experience pain, you have to start rethinking what you're wearing. I mean, Are you a fan of inserts and orthotics, different things that you can put inside the shoe? It, for the right problem, yes. And okay. there's uh, a lot of really nice over-the-counter orthotics that mm -hmm. I have people get. I might modify them just a little bit to make it more customized to that foot. But they've come a long way where you can save the you know, upwards of $500 by not having to have a custom pair made. Right. Um, and just get these ones that cost $30, $40, $50. Well, yep. I like that you're conscious of that, especially you know mm -hmm. when, when money is an issue. Right. Um, does foot pain always lead to ankle pain? Everything just feels like it's so connected. Right, and for some people, um, you'll have pain in one joint, and that motion will be trying to be lost, basically. Your body yeah. builds up bone around it, that's where arthritis is, and your foot will move in a way that it shouldn't, and then you're gonna get problems sometimes in the ankle, sometimes mm -hmm. through the midfoot, even in the toes. If you limp and you're walking too much on one side, that's an issue. That's what I told you too, yeah. like because of my toe, I, I walk on the outside of my foot and now I'm having some ankle issues, yep. probably from stretching those ligaments, whatever. I don't know, That's it's all, it here's the deal. Mm -hmm. You gotta see a specialist because <laughs> we our feet have to last us. That's the only way to last us for, through the rest of our life. We've gotta walk if we can, we've gotta be able to be mobile. Dr. Mitch Hulbert is who you can see. He is in Glendale and Brown Deer. Those are the locations with Columbia St. Mary's. The phone number on your screen to schedule an appointment is 414-209-5279 or columbia-stmarys.org, but I highly recommend going in and seeing a specialist and, and at least finding out what the problem is so you can get better. That's Good right. to see you. Thank you. Thanks for being here.